Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So most of your gyms and studios are most likely starting to reopen at this point and a lot of you might be feeling that you might just not be ready to go back into that setting. So today's class is just going to be a short and sweet little flow to ease you back into your practice, get you ready to go back to your studios, to your gyms, to your basement, wherever you work out. <laughs> And if this is not enough for your fitness level currently, maybe you can use this as a warm up. So join me here on your mat and let's get started. We're gonna come down onto our backs. Feet are planted about hip width apart and just roll yourself down, noticing where you feel connection into your mat. You're gonna take your hands to your lower abdominals here, feeling your hip bones right about level with the outside edge of your palm. And I want you to just start by inhaling, feel your belly expand into your hands. And then as you exhale, feel your fingertips draw in towards the belly. Inhale, let's do that a few more times, filling up the belly with that breath. And if you like, you can close your eyes here, really wanna connect our body to our breathing before we get started. Exhale, pour it all out trying to keep your pelvis from moving as you inhale and exhale. Exhale, pouring it out as we pull that breath out. Think about drawing your navel upwards into your rib cage. We'll do that a couple more times here. Inhale, fill the belly with that breath, like a pitcher of water being filled from the base all the way to the top of your lungs. And then exhale, pour that breath back out. We'll do it three more times here, inhaling, filling up with your breath. Maybe trying to deepen the inhale and deepen the exhale. Inhaling. Exhale, pour that breath out like you're dumping out that pitcher of water. We'll go one last time, inhale, fill up with that breath as much as you possibly can. And then when you can't fill any more into your body, exhale, pour it all out. Beautiful. And then we're going to take our arms to our side. And we're going to start with just a nice little lifting of each limb. So using that belly connection with our breath, you're going to inhale, fill into your belly, this time adding a right leg knee float. So hovering that leg to tabletop. And then we'll exhale and bring it back down. As you go through this movement with your legs, nothing should be changing as far as that pressure we just found across our mat. So notice if your ribs are wanting to lift, if your back is arching, might mean that you're not using your core enough. We want to keep this out of our low back. Inhale, float that left side up. Exhale, control the back down. Inhale, right side. Exhale, bring it back down. One more time with this left leg. You're gonna keep your left leg here, and I want you to take your right side up to meet that leg. Squeeze those inner thighs together. You should already feel a little bit of heat between them. We're gonna take our hands behind our head, almost making a basket with your hands so that your head is heavy here. On the inhale, think lengthen your spine. As you exhale, pull up from your belly, not your head, and find a little abdominal lift. Inhaling to release back down. Remember, we control the downward movement. Exhale, curl to find that scoop. Never pulling on our head here. Our head is really just following what we're doing from the center. So pulling from the abdominals to lift up and then releasing back down. We'll do this two more times. Exhale, curling to find that lift. Inhale, slow and controlled back down. We wanna get that opposite direction. Just as important as the lift. Lower nice and slow. One last lift and stay lifted. Good, holding here. Try to lift more from your upper abdominals. If this is getting into your neck, go ahead and just bring your head back down. We're gonna to start to extend one leg at a time out to about a 45 degree angle, and then exhale to draw that knee back to table. Inhale, the left side reaches away, and then exhale to pull it back to tabletop. Thinking like our single leg stretch, but kind of piecing it in there with baby steps today. 
like I said, we're just easing ourselves in, but you can always take this to your own level. Inhale, we reach, exhale to come back in one more time, left side, and then we're gonna come in and take a little break. Lower your head down, let's hug those knees in, maybe take the head side to side if you were starting to feel any tension in your neck. <sighs> and then we're gonna try that a little different. So hands are gonna come back behind the head, legs are still here in our tabletop squeezing those inner thighs exhale as you curl yourself up into that same crunching position and this time as we extend one leg away we're going to twist opposite elbow opposite knee and then inhale come back into that tabletop squeeze your legs together exhale twisting to your right and then bring it back and squeeze those inner thighs together i want you to get that squeeze every time Really simple movements here, but we're bringing all of those little things we have to think about in Pilates back into our brain. Getting ourselves ready for some more intense choreography, maybe in our future, or maybe not. That's okay. And then bring it back together. We're gonna go one more time both ways, twisting to your left, and then back to center. One more time, twisting to your right. You should be shaking in those abdominals. And then back together, come all the way back down. All right, reach your arms out overhead behind you. And you're gonna bring your feet flat on your mat. We're gonna do a little stretch for our shoulders and then we're gonna take this into our bridging. You're gonna bring your right arm to your right side, look over your right shoulder and let your knees drop to the left. A little stretch here. And then you're gonna bring the right arm back up above you Left arm's gonna travel to your left side as the knees drop to your right. And we're looking just over that left shoulder. Inhaling, bringing it back through center, the arms switch, the knees drop over to the left. And then we'll do that one last time here to our left side. And then you're gonna bring your right arm to your side, your feet will stay planted and we'll just stay kind of in a neutral position here. So starting with a little pelvic tuck, we're gonna get into our bridges eventually. You're gonna to start to get that exhale, but this time as you pull your navel up under your ribs, I want you to also tuck your pelvis. So curling that tail towards the backs of your knees, you're gonna feel the space between you and the mat go away. And then as you inhale, we're filling the belly up, just like we started, but we're coming back into a neutral pelvis. So hip bones are laying level there. Exhale as we start to tuck our pelvis, softening those shoulders into your mat, and then inhale once you've run out of exhale. Just little baby tucks here. Notice, are you using your feet to kind of cheat a little bit? Right? Can we lighten the pressure with our feet and pull in more with our abdominals? Our abdominals are what's tucking our pelvis might start to feel those bigger muscles wanting to help out, those glutes perhaps. See if you can relax them. Belly will pick up the slack. Tuck that pelvis, exhale, let's go a little bit further. Maybe just an inch more, like a fist underneath you and your mat. And then you're gonna come back down. So really gentle, tucking the pelvis, finding that lift taking note if you feel equal as you come up and down across your spine right and left side rolling back down and we'll do like one more of these little halfway bridges coming up maybe to the base of your shoulders or maybe just the ribs and then we're going to continue all the way into our shoulder bridge so again noticing if it's equal right and left side we're going through those first two spots that we practiced and then you're continuing up to the base of your shoulders. Take an inhale, feel your knees reach further over your toes, and then exhale, roll yourself back down. Nice and sequential, one piece of your spine at a time. Inhale, let that pelvis untuck. Exhale, we're gonna roll back up, making this all about some spinal articulation today. Inhaling at the top, don't let those ribs come apart. Exhale, roll yourself back down. Now check in with those feet. Do you feel like the inside edge is pressing down much, just as much as the outside edge? Sometimes we have a tendency to roll our feet out. 
and then we're rolling back down. One last time, come into your bridge and we're gonna stay lifted. So we're gonna expand on that little shoulder stretch we started with. So holding this tuck here, as you inhale, holding those inner thighs squeezed, we're gonna let our arms come up and over, resting the backs of the hands on the mat behind you. Exhale, roll yourself back down, think two-way stretch, reaching those arms back behind you. And then you can circle or just bring your arms back down to your hips. Tuck the pelvis, we exhale, roll it up there, making this about the squeeze and the booty. Belly button up under those ribs, inhale, arms continue. Exhale, roll yourself down. You might start to feel a little snap, crackle, pop there in between your shoulder blades, that thoracic spine. Roll yourself up. Inhale, arms continue. Can you keep those knees reaching? Roll back down. One last time, arms by your side. Inhale, tuck the pelvis, roll it up there. Arms continue up and over. And then we roll ourselves all the way down. You're gonna keep your arms reaching behind you. And we're gonna start our kind of baby roll up from here. So as you exhale, your arms are gonna try to stay in line with your ears. So we're not gonna bring them too far forward of us. As you exhale, we're gonna go chin to chest and start to roll yourself up, extend your legs out long on your mat as you come up. And then as you roll yourself down, you're gonna keep the legs reaching. Maybe they need to drag back in and then continue arms overhead to your mat. So legs can drag in and out, or if you know that you like that full roll down, extend those legs and go for it. Trying to keep pushing outward through your heels finding a nice little stretch through the back side of your legs. I'm gonna do last two just with straight legs if you wanna join me. Exhale, rolling up, reaching, rounding over your toes. Are your arms still in line with your ears? Last one here. We're gonna stay at the top. So inhale at the bottom, get that last big stretch. Exhale, roll yourself all the way up and over the tops of your thighs and stay. Now from here, you're gonna sit up tall, hands are gonna come behind your head. And if already this feels like, eh, work, you're gonna tee out your arms. So make it bigger and find those sits bones sit up nice and tall. My legs are about hip width apart. You can go a little wider if it helps you to sit up taller. Also try maybe a block underneath or fold up your mat if you're feeling stuck in those hip flexors. So arms wide or hands behind the head. We're gonna try a little bit of spine twist. You're gonna exhale as you rotate your spine towards your right. Inhale as you come back around through center. Exhale, we're twisting to our left. Inhale back around through center. I'm gonna go with those teed out arms. Exhaling to twist, inhaling back through center. Push through the opposite foot. As you twist to your left, I want you to push through that left heel as you reach the left arm behind you. So we get this really nice oppositional length, and that's what's giving our body the stretch. Not the twist, but the reach, right? It's subtle. Rotating right side, and then come back around one more time to your left, and then come back around, and you're gonna fold over your legs. And then from here, we're gonna scooch ourselves in we're going to try a little bit of rolling. If this is not in your practice or if you have a spinal fusion, you're not going to do this or maybe you're just going to hold and see if you can balance here. That's it. So if you are capable of rolling and you know your spine is a-okay, you're going to hug right knee, left knee into your chest, round your back creating that C-shaped curve. See if you can stay looking at your belly button as you let gravity just take you back and then roll it up to the top. Try not to let those toes touch. Inhale, start to just let it happen. And then exhale, use that exhale, our contraction breath to pull us up to the top. Inhaling as we just let it roll, exhale it back up. Let's do this two more times here. And then one last time, come up and stay here. Now you guys all know I love teaser. So if it's not in your practice, hands come here for support. 
You're just going to alternate your toe taps, little baby steps here. If it is in your practice, you can alternate one leg reaching up to 45 or higher, and then the other. And if you know it, you can go there, right? But take it to your own level, right? This is all just easing us back to where we were. There's no judgment as far as where we are right now. We're just going little baby steps. Once you've had enough there, I want you to bring your feet down to the mat in front of you and find like a diamond shape with your legs. So diamond is not necessarily a butterfly. My feet are pretty far away from my sits bones and that just lets me sit up a little bit more comfortably. So from here, we're gonna go like ballerina arms and you're gonna start to bring one knee folded over the other. So we're gonna have to work from our side bodies to get this twist. So hopefully that twist we just did waked, woke up our side bodies. You're gonna drop the left knee over the right and see if you can find a little mermaid seat, just kind of dragging right shin in front. And then as we come back, we're gonna bring it back to our diamond. So folding your right knee over to your left, your left leg will start to come with you. So we end in that mermaid seat or Z legs. And then we'll start to bring it back, sliding our left foot against our right. As we move right, left leg folds over, right leg follows us, and we end in mermaid. And then we bring it back, right foot slides in to meet the left. The shape of this right leg doesn't change. So now we go to the left, left leg comes with us, and then we bring it back around. This is all controlled with your oblique slings here. You guys, most of you know, I'm a big proponent of working those. They, a lot of the times, are the reason why we have such intense sort of imbalances in our body. So working around here, we're gonna come to our right side and stay. So left foot slides back into your diamond, left knee folds over, right foot ends up in front of that left thigh. Now from here, you're gonna turn towards your right so now your hands are kind of aiming out towards your mat. As you bring your hands down in front of you, you're gonna let your back leg lift, keeping the same shape, and then press yourself back up and bring your arms overhead. So we're gonna make this a little faster eventually, but just take it slow, get a feel for it. Working into those side bodies, finding a little bit of work through that back glute. Twisting, let yourself fall and lift and then press it back up. I think this is so much fun. <laughs> Last one, you're gonna come forward and stay, and I want you to add a kick and a look over that left shoulder back at your left leg, and then bend it back in, press yourself back up. Coming back around, just adding on a little bit. Bending, come down, we extend, press the arm straight and look over the shoulder. Come back down, press yourself up. Rotate right, fall, let the back leg lift, press up, look over the shoulder, come back down, press yourself back up. One last time, falling to your right, press up, extend the left, look left, and then come back down, press yourself all the way up, and come back into that diamond. So left leg's gonna fold over left, right foot comes around, and bring it against the left one. Now I'm gonna switch sides just so you guys can see me better, so that you can continue for flow, keeping that same direction. So finding your diamond, we're gonna fold our right knee over to our left. Our left leg travels with us as we rotate, and we're gonna find that mermaid again. So from your little zigzag, zigzag legs, we're gonna rotate left, let our hands find the mat, let our back leg lift, which is now our right, and then press yourself back up and rotate forward. So twisting left, fall to your mat, let that right side lift, press yourself back up. It's almost as if this is just coming with us, this whole series. Twist, fall, let the leg lift, and press yourself back up. We're gonna add that leg kick back in. So this time when we fall, as you press the arm straight, you're gonna add a look over your right shoulder, extend that right leg behind you, 
and then bend the elbows, curl the heel back to the glute, press yourself all the way back up. So we've just added the extension and kind of a little bit of a push up. So falling to your mat, we press up, look over the right shoulder, reach the right big toe back, and then bring it back down to the mat, curl the heel in, press it back up to the top. We'll do that three more times. Bring it down, press it up, look over the shoulder, and then come back to the mat, press it all the way up. Last two, falling to the mat, and you can take this a little bit quicker if it's starting to make sense for you, but again, don't let that choreography get the best of you. Fall to your mat, extend back, look over the shoulder, and then we're pressing it all the way to the top, and take it back to that diamond leg. So right foot comes around, left leg meets it. And now we're in our diamond position and we're gonna stay with this. So we're gonna try to just kind of find like a little circle around our body. So you're gonna bend your elbows as you need to, pulling yourself in towards your right knee and then down towards your heels and then around to your left knee, and then back, maybe just rounding behind your sits bones. So just moving really slowly through this, giving your spine a nice little stretch, maybe massaging the glutes on your mat. And then let's reverse our circle here, coming back around the other way. just connecting back with our breath if we've lost it if that choreography really challenged our brain and then one last circle here and then we're gonna flip ourselves over onto our belly so bringing yourself around however it's comfortable for you I'm gonna do a little bit of prone work before we bring this to a close or maybe this is your warm-up good for you so arms are going to reach out in front of you, your forehead is down on the mat, and from here we're just going to start to lift our legs, so finding the bottom half of our pelvis, and then bring the legs back down. So using our booty, not our back muscles, squeezing the glutes to find that lift, almost pulling the belly up with it, and then release back down. Lifting just the lower half, and then back down. One more time, just the legs. And then you're gonna add your upper body in. So now your arms again will stay in line with your ears. Only lift the head as high as your arms will go. So we're gonna inhale, lift, and then exhale, come back down. It's almost like you're pressing up through the back of your head, not your forehead. Inhale as we lift, and exhale as we lower. I like the idea of making a double chin. <laughs> For me, that helps me to keep my neck long and not crunch into my back of my extensors. Lower it back down. One more time, lift and stay. Make that double chin if it helps. And then from here, we're gonna go swimming. Right leg, left arm, lift them just a little bit higher and then switch the arm and leg. So opposite arm, opposite leg, switch and switch and switch, come a little lower with your head if you're starting to feel your low back. Use the belly one more time both ways. And then lower yourself back down. You're gonna bring your hands underneath your shoulders. And from here, we're gonna push our hips up and back over our heels. So child's pose here, letting your forehead draw to the mat, feeling that shoulder stretch. You're going to pull yourself forward, coming to all fours here. Knees are maybe about hip distance apart, hands on the mat. Now from here, we're going to start to take this into a little bit of cat-cow. This is our last series. You're going to inhale, draw your heart forward, extend your hips back. And as you exhale, we're going to round the back. So pushing your mat away from you, pushing tops of your feet down and then inhale, start to draw it forward. All of our movement today has been connected with our breathing. So hopefully, if that didn't feel like it was the case for you, if you can go back and do this a couple more times. 
hopefully it becomes a little easier and then when you're back in your regular classes that breathing is second nature one more time inhaling the heart forward exhaling on your round you're going to start to tuck your toes under and press your hips back over your heels and then as you inhale we're going to draw the knees back down and bring our heart forward so now we're going bigger motion exhale round continue up into that down dog stretch and then as you inhale the knees come down the heart comes forward we'll do that twice more exhale round from your cat cow continue into down dog stretch inhale heels and knees lift come back find that open heart forward one last time exhale round knees lift heels press down they don't have to connect and from there we're just going to walk it out so pedaling it out here trying to stretch your toes your arches on the mat and then we're going to walk our hands in towards our toes maybe taking a moment here just to hang out shake it side to side let your arms sway and then take one last breath here. Roll yourself up to standing, pulling that belly in to stack one piece on top of the next. When you get all the way to the top, shrug out those shoulders. And then you can join me here on your mat and we'll bring it to a close. So I hope you enjoyed this session today. I hope that it gave you some idea of getting back into your practice, reconnecting your breath to your body, and hopefully just getting your heart rate up there just a little bit today. So stay tuned for more, enjoy the rest of your day, and thank you so much for moving with me. Bye guys.